You ever see that uh, TikTok where the person pretends to have gotten a free bucket of KFC chicken by using a Jenna Ortega voice filter? Yes. <laughs> no king, enlighten me? Well, I mean, it's just really funny, I guess. Yep, this I is it. I pranked KFC with Jenna Ortega's voice and got free chicken bucket. Hello, KFC Delivery. I'm listening to you. I can hear you. <laughs> I hear. Hello, I want to make an order for delivery a large bucket of chicken wings original. You do bucket two seri cola and two cheese sauces. Okay, no problem. Uh, payment by cash or card. <laughs> Paying by cash. Your address and data, please. The address will be sent with the link. Stop. I think I recognized your voice. It's Jen Ortega, right? Yeah, it's Jen Ortega. Oh my god, uh, I will do your order for free. <laughs> I just, I, maybe I'm cooked, man. I don't know. That's so fake. Yeah, no, I know. That's why, that's the I main reason it's funny. But this, this order is so good, man. I hear. Hello, I want to make an order for delivery a large bucket of chicken wings original. You do bucket two seri cola and two cheese sauces. Okay. Oh, man. The way she rattles it off. Oh, man. By the way, my strength hasn't fully returned, but I'm ready to take on the world. You can't just tweet, and I quote, Bene Gesserit voice, fucking the joke you wanted to say, okay? It doesn't work. Bene Gesserit voice, no worries if not. That joke worked because the, it's the dichotomy of the Bene Gesserit voice compelling people to do things combined with the passive aggressive, no worries if not. You can't just put Bene Gesserit voice you know, and no pickles on the burger. Actually, that one fucking works. When you, when you got it in you, you can't turn it off, okay? But not many of you motherfuckers have it in you. People are just typing like, Bene Gesserit voice. I'll have a small fry. Like, that doesn't work, bro. <clears throat> Bene Gesserit voice. I'm Jenna Ortega. You gotta respect Jenna Ortega because she didn't lead with that, though. She just said, I'll have a delivery, two buckets of chicken, two zero colas, Two duo, I don't even know what chicken duo is, and two cheese sauces. Stop. I think I recognize your voice. Are you Jenna Ortega? Yes, I'm Jenna Ortega. Oh my God, I will make your order for free. Wondering if there will be a Canuck riot after the finals this year? Here's another good one for you. Hey, maybe you should wonder why the chicken crossed the fucking road. Good joke, Grandpa. Would you find it fucking etched on a cuneiform tablet? at the intersection of the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers in the cradle of civilization, you old ass fucking hack. He's the motherfucker that would have sold me this shit copper. <laughs> Dude, that's the next step. That's the next step. I called Al Nasir and got free copper with my Jenna Ortega voice. Hi, I'd like a delivery of 38 ingots of pure copper. Stop. I, I think I recognize your voice. Are you? <laughs> oh, man. Box office game. Finally, some real freaking entertainment. Did you, librarian, this one's specifically for you, okay? Did you see the uh, comparison of a shot from No Way Home, the Spider-Man film, versus a shot from Madam Web. Now it is a, I'm sure it's cherry picked and I'm sure that Madam Web is pure ass. But the Spider-Man one literally looks like the start of a Grand Theft Auto V cutscene. It's just like one guy holding his phone in a green screen crucible. And then the Madam Web shot legit looks like something out of Lost in Translation. There's like composition and depth. There's, there's film grain to it. Like <coughs> their excuse was that it was shot during COVID so the actor couldn't get on location. What are we supposed to do? Not make a Spider-Man? 
because of the pandemic, then the virus wins, bro. Everybody read your lines at home into your phone camera and we'll composite the movie here in Burbank. You guys see um, the photos of Link from Red and Link wearing the iced out drip of the slump god? <laughs> I, just, I don't have anything else to say. Good for him, man. <laughs> You're 40 years old? He's like 51, man. He, he is looking clean with it. I ain't mad at him. He's 46? Oh, whatever. You see the, um, the Chinese worker who pissed in the Tsingtao vat? Yes, I did. I also am so embarrassed to say uh, the tweet that I saw said Chinese worker pees in Tsingtao vat causes billions of dollars in damages. And then I got got by the most boomer joke of all time. <clears throat> Someone replied, billions in damages? Why? They should have just put a Heineken label on it. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, hi yo. It's like the most obvious joke, but I was like, man, this guy is cooking. Do you like React content? Yep. I literally uh, don't watch anything except I see, I would say approximately on Twitter, I see eight TikToks a day and every single one of them is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, I am not seeing shit on TikTok that's like, you know, stop drinking fluoride in your water. Stop putting iodine in your salt. If there was supposed to be iodine in your salt, there, there's salt in your iodine. There would have been iodine in your salt placed there from the almighty. Like, everything that I get is just surreal. It's not even sketches anymore. I don't even know how to describe the kind of comedy that shows up to me on TikTok. On TikTok via Twitter. That's why you find those cooked videos funny. Oh, what's your video that's fucking hilarious? Mm, Nancy Pelosi on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Be like, mm, I think I will sell my Boeing shares today. Hmm. Fuck you, man. It... Hey, 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 hey. Wouldn't this premise be funny? Whoa, what, what if? What, what, what if? <laughs> Nancy's Boeing shares. I did see a more traditional comedy bit that got me, though. You see the British guy arguing with himself in the pub? <laughs> what, mate? What, son? Who you call his son? <laughs> you, you mug. Who took the jam out of your donut? I ain't a son, you melt. I go by bruv geese pronouns. Oh, oh, mate, mate, I did not know. I'm so sorry. That's fine, just don't do it again or I'll smash you up. <laughs> anyway, you having a beer or what? Nah, nah, not for me, mate. I don't think they do gluten-free beer here anyway, so... Oh, you're joking, aren't you? What kind of fucking two-bob establishment don't provide inclusive options for people with food intolerances? It's a fucking joke. Says, who you, who you calling son? I use geez bruv pronouns now. Says, oh, sorry, mate. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean anything by it. Uh, it's okay, just don't let it happen again or I'll fucking whack you. So anyways, you want a drink or what? Nah, mate, I'm trying to cut back. Plus, I don't even think they have any gluten-free beers or anything. It's a piece of piss, isn't it? What kind of a reputable establishment like this wouldn't have gluten-free options for the conservative drinker? Nah, mate, it's not a big deal. <laughs> Forget what else. It was good, though. I thought it was pretty good. Great accent. I don't. Maybe I've just been using the wrong part of England for my British accent. <laughs> Where else are you going to get me? <laughs> You do cross it, Elsa. Oh, man. What the fuck? Holy shit, dude, what's the matter? What happened? What's going on? There's so much. Major League Bullies, Crayon. Running a stud special on this pimpy son. Two times, two pimpy. times, pimpy. Two times, pimpy. Two times, pimpy. Babe X, baby G. <laughs> baby G. Príncipe Vegeta. <laughs>
Mewtwo X Elsa. You ever show Kate the 2X bully videos? First off, I don't know where it became videos. I've only seen the one video, okay? Secondly, I'm not afraid to link a video to my wife, but I try to keep it in the genre of maybe animal doing thing it's not supposed to. Some of the stuff that I find funny, there's like a, it needs a lot of explanation. Like, but, and then sometimes that explanation is like lost to me. Like, I don't really know why the, the 2X bully thing makes me laugh. But I know that because it makes me laugh, it is funny. Simple as. What would 2X Pimpy do? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what, what does the 2X denote in the, in the dog advertisement? That denotes its level of inbreeding. Well, okay, what, what specifically does 2X mean then? Is it, can I ask something disgusting? Does that mean Pimpy's making... So Pimpy made a Pimpy Jr. And then Pimpy made a Pimpy the second that was Pimpy cross Pimpy Jr. I guess that would be Pimpy the third. Is Pimpy the third 2 x <laughs> Yes, regrettably you've got it. Oh no. <laughs> That's what... Shouldn't that be cheaper? <laughs> I think I'd pay less for that dog. <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> Somebody needs to check on Pimpy, too, though. I mean, I guess he's chilling. Like, anyone ever ask him... ...how he's doing? He's like, bro, my kids look fucking just like me, dude. <laughs> hey, now, thoughts on the profit margins of DoorDash? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pivot off of that and talk about something similar. I saw a tweet today that was like, people have forgotten about the fact that the niche occupied by DoorDash used to be held by frozen foods. We need to go back to having some frozen foods in our freezer at all times. Not a bad idea, but then I thought about another tweet that was like, and I think that this person has their fingers so much on the pulse of uh, society. I don't know who they are. I, I hate to not give them credit. But the tweet was like, the frozen pizza has to be like the biggest scam in the grocery business. Every time I'm at the store, I pick one up and say, hmm, maybe sometime this week I won't feel like cooking and I'll want a frozen pizza. Lo and behold, I get home from the grocery store, hmm, don't feel like cooking. <laughs> one of the most relatable tweets of all time. You delude yourself. Oh, this would be nice in a pinch. You know, maybe I'll get home late uh, one night or something like that and we can have a frozen pizza. You're eating that shit the day you bought it, without a doubt. You might buy two and then you've got a, you got one in your fridge for an emergency, but you one frozen pizza does not last. I'm really not like a, a dog person at all. Did you see that TikTok of uh, the owner trying to get her dog inside, but instead it just jumps into the swimming pool eight times? Buster, I'm really gonna... Buster! Come here! Come here! Come here, you little shit! Be a good boy for once in your life. Are you done? Come here! Come here! Buster! Buster Henry! Buster! Don't you dare. Buster. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey, hey, hey. Leave that vacuum cleaner alone. Hey, are you ready to come in? Come on. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the pool. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go over here. Mommy's right. Good drive. Come over. No, sir. Buster, get over here now. 
I definitely get, uh, <laughs> I get dogs in that sense. Are you a cat guy? Not really. Like, I, I love my cats, don't get me wrong. They're a part of the family. I'm kind of just like a... I think I'm a no-pet guy. It's taken me a long time to come to that realization. But you have pets? Yeah, I mean, I like them. And we're locked in. You know, we have a responsibility. Would I re-up? I say it's up to my wife. Tomo 2X. Honestly, I feel like Tomo might already be like 2X or something like that. Ruka is, is 1X for sure. You can tell Ruka has like some serious genetic diversity because he's strong. <laughs> and like he seems well adapted, like he doesn't get sick with like mysterious illnesses very often and stuff like that. Did you guys see the subreddit um, r slash cuckold psychology? I did see that on Twitter this weekend. Of course I didn't see it. You should take a look. What did you post on it? <laughs> so does anyone here know how to get past orange steak on Balatro checkered deck? Hey sport, play flushes. Hope this helps. Make sure dinner's on the table when we get back. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not, I'm not poo-pooing anybody's lifestyle choices, okay? Well, there is... Okay, so the post that went viral on Twitter was like... Um, you know, my wife's boyfriend... <laughs> she got me good. It was like... Um, he keeps referring to me as like sport and champ. And uh, every time I talk to him, he treats me more like uh, I'm his son than I'm his friend. And I was like, I mean, a lot of people said this in the replies, but they're like, you're not his son or his friend. Like, I don't know where you got that idea. But um, then there were like, so that one felt like it might be a little bit made up. But then the, some of the other ones seemed very real. Like there was one that was like, are you guys allowed to help pick out the lingerie that your wife wears when she's on dates with her boyfriend? And then there were people that were like, oh no, we decided in like 2018 that I shouldn't be allowed to see my wife naked anymore. And I was like, Again, this was from the Twitter replies, but isn't this like a lifestyle that you get into because you're like, oh, I think that would be fun? That doesn't seem very fun at all, man. That just, that seems like a really fucked up existence. <laughs> I'm sorry, this conversation plus the girder is making me laugh. Well, I can't focus on the words and the, and the motion at the same time, man. Just work with me for a second here. I'm sure there's posts that are like, you know, just had a great weekend with my wife and my wife's boyfriend that reminded me of why I got into the lifestyle. Like, don't get me wrong, but like, the posts that I saw that were spotlighted were not like that. That's all I'm saying. I, Lord knows I can't start a war with another subreddit man <laughs> I did see that dude post on r slash uh, laser hair removal and he was like I'm so hairy would laser hair even work for me and then it started an argument so bad that they had to lock and remove the thread how did you know that you knew it so fast because they loved his hair. Exactly, man. That was like life affirming for me as someone who, I mean, you're gonna laugh. The dude in the picture, I swear it to you, I would not, I stand to gain nothing from this if it was a lie. I'm hairier on my torso than that dude. He's very hairy, don't get me wrong. Some of us are just built a little different. Okay, we go next time. Yeah. 
Oh my god. <laughs> so, um, whichever one of you motherfuckers told me you have to go on the upswing, you're perma banned. Waste of my fucking life. Last YouTube video I ever watched? 2007. It's called Not Today, Motherfucker. A science fiction clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh man 1.5 thousand views from 15 years ago this can't really this can't be the OG but still <laughs> okay we, we all we missed the first 10% so just chill out That was the best camera that was available to purchase in 2006 that shot video. <laughs> it's the shit they, they shot the fucking Titanic on, bro. It's so millennial coded, man. <laughs> it really is. Not today, motherfucker! I watched it today in history class. Oh, Up next in two, that's the wrong number. What? Stop trying to get me to buy a freaking condo. Is a number. Psych, that's the wrong number. Oh, man. Well, what's next, man? What's next? What's next? I survived seven days in an abandoned city. I show speed in Peppa Pig. If I laugh, the video ends, number 29. I show speed, funniest talking Ben moments. Acid versus lava, testing liquids that melt everything. G-Wagon durability test, number one. Maybe there's a reason I don't watch too much YouTube. Where'd we go wrong with the internet? We re I genuinely... It's social media, in my opinion. And also, this is uh, insane government overreach, but you... Uh, should have to be over the age of 28 to post on Twitter. That's the big one. You should never be able to be tricked into getting mad at like a 14-year-old's opinion. Zoomers made you? That's true. I, by the way, can I make fun of Zoomers for like the, the first genuine thing? I'm just poking fun. Welcome to the fucking arena, guys. We did it when we were millennials too. We're now getting articles about uh, Gen Z ruining stuff. Get ready, it doesn't stop. Whenever somebody writes an article that's like, Gen Z is ruining thing, the number one reply is always like, literally the youngest Gen Zs are in the 10th grade right now. Uh, the only thing they're ruining is their appetite, eating their Dunkaroos right before lunchtime. <laughs> Everyone's like, so true, so true, so fucking true. They don't know what they're talking about, so fucking true. And then if anyone ever writes an article that's like, Gen Z uh, use iPad too much, my study, people are like, um, we're literally 26 year old chartered accountants. <laughs> If you need some help printing from PDF, go ahead and ask. Otherwise, bye-bye. And people are like, so fucking true. I, I, I miss that. I miss when my generation was like age 14 to age 28. And whenever you got criticized for anything, you could be like, actually, we're kids. And whenever you got criticized for being a kid, you'd be like, actually, like, I have gray chest hair. Nowadays, millennials are fucking, like, they're all 30 to fucking 48. What are we going to be? Actually, some of us have a slip disc in our spine. Like, 
Now we're just getting cooked. We're all old. And fucking apparently 80% of us still fucking love Harry Potter, which I did not know. So enjoy it while it lasts, Gen Z. That's all I'm saying. Have you seen Slackers? I don't think I can imagine any other streamer who might have seen it. Have I seen Slackers? What a ridiculous question. I love you, but I hate you. Which brings to mind how much I love you. We could have worked things out, you know, in my little room, in my little locked room. I'm sorry that you had to settle for Dave, the one-dimensional man. He's filed under cocksucker in my little black book, sweetness can rot your teeth, bittersweet. Cacophony and you hold the key, you hold the, you think I don't know every word from Slackers? Devin Sawa, Jason Schwartzman. Kind of insane this information occupies space in your brain. Yeah, no, I agree. I think that sometimes when I like, I hear a song, usually like during a Peloton ride, I'll, I'll hear a song that I've literally not heard since like 1998 and I still know 80% of the words. I'm like, what are you doing in there?